It saps a lot more energy defending than it does attacking and you're not going to look as fluent in attack if you're not having a lot of possession and you're having to put your body on the line so much in defense. England's game plan didn't change too much from the opening couple of rounds but they came up against a better back three and the accuracy of their kicking game just wasn't anywhere near as good. And. There's no doubt England missed Marouaioj and Mako Vunapala, in particular, when they had the ball in hand. Billy Vunapala made 20 carries, Tom Curry had 7 and none of the other forwards had more than 5 so there was too much onus on the Saracens number 8. You only need to be off by 1% or so in a few areas to lose a tight test match that you might otherwise have won and that's exactly what happened to England. They won't panic and they haven't gone from zero to hero to zero again in the space of a few weeks but there are a few areas they need to improve on and discipline is certainly one of them. Unfortunately, as well as he played and he was fantastic for the 56 minutes he was on the field, I do believe that Sinclair's ill-discipline and inability to keep a cool head was a major contributing factor in England losing the game. Let's not make a villain out of him, as Eddie has asked, but let's be honest and realistic and hope it's something they're working on with him because if he sorts that out, he can be a world beater. Tell us what you think about the Rugby World Cup and you could win £100.